afternoon, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I had a couple of questions on my um, video I put up about the um, setup that I did with the Arduino for the uh, aircraft lights. Um, basically, this is what I had sh shown on my video. Uh, this is a basically just a test board. So I'll answer uh, Mike Hintz's question first. So uh, Mike was asking, uh, is this what you would actually put in the plane or in the base, wherever you want it to? Um, the answer to that is you could use this board here, not this. This is only a test board, breadboard it's called. You could put this in your models if you want. But then you would be by having to buy these boards all the time. <clears throat> so basically you just test your program with these board and then you would, or for me anyways, the route I'm going is using these nano boards. This right here. So once I have everything tested on here and I know it's good, I can then download the program into this board and this is what I would use to put in my model um, so let me zoom in here for a second so you can see all those numbers and stuff along the edges of this board those correspond to these pins here where I have my jumpers inserted in this test so when I go to wire this up, actually add wires to go from the board to the lights, um, first of all, I have to solder these pins in to attach the wire to, or I could attach the wire just to here if I wanted, I guess. And then uh, you would basically use what you have on your breadboard here to figure out your wiring. It goes from what pin to where, put your switch in, all this stuff. Um, that's my understanding anyways. Like I said, I'm new to this and I haven't tried this yet, but that's my understanding of how it works. The other route you can go is there is something very similar to this breadboard that looks like this is just a row of holes that are all linked together and you can solder your circuit to that board, essentially making your own circuit board uh, if you want to do that. I, I would rather myself, I would rather go this route. Uh, to me, it's a lot tidier and a lot easier. So you can see this board's pretty small. You can fit that in a lot of places. So in a nutshell, Mike, yes, you can put this in your model if you want, but I wouldn't do it. The cost of these boards here is very, very much lower than the cost of what the Zuno board is. So, yes, you can, but more than likely, this is what you would use to put in to actually put in the model to control your lighting. Uh, so, I hope that's clear to what you were asking. The second question was from Sammy Vasquez, and uh, he basically was asking, I guess, generally how, how it works. And does it come with instructions? So essentially, no. So you can buy all this separate if you want. You can buy these breadboards, you know, a dollar, two dollars each, whatever they are. You can buy these Uno boards. This one is actually an Arduino Uno. Arduino is just a brand name. Like everything else, there are clones out there of this. Uh, they're usually called Uno, but they're not Arduino Uno. Uh, but they all work the same, and they're usually cheaper than the actual Arduino ones. So you can go that route. And the one I have here, I bought this as a kit. So it came with a book, came with some LEDs, wires, jumpers, the Uno board, and a small breadboard. And it came with a, with a book. I guess you could call it an instruction book. But all the instructions will do is essentially show you how to do something. So, you know, the exercises, they start out very, very simple. 
putting in a switch and push the switch and the light turn on and off, basically. And then you would just graduate on from that and pulsing a light or hooking up a um, hooking up a motor to this and hooking up a solenoid, all different stuff like that. So basically, it kind of shows you the basics. And then you would have to yourself, from there, you would have to say, okay, this is what I want in my case, these lights, this is what I want these lights to do. And this is how I program the Arduino to tell the lights to do that. So it's a bit of, it's, you know, it's a, it's a learning curve there for sure. Now there are tons and tons of websites and YouTube videos and I mean, they're everywhere on how to do different things with these Arduino boards. Um, just because you can control essentially anything with it. You can have, you can put small video screens in your model if you want and control it with these boards. I mean, the, the possibilities are absolutely endless, really. Um, what I have done here is dead simple, very, very basic. So, in the event that you don't want to go out and buy this stuff because you don't know if you'll be interested in it or not, uh, just let me go to my computer and I'll show you a essentially a virtual way of doing this on your computer rather than physically doing it the way I have here. So uh, just give me one sec, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so uh, we're here on my computer. Um, uh, just show you one sec here. So this is the interface that you used. This is basically where you write your uh, programs for um, for the Arduino. Uh, they call them sketches. <clears throat> uh, so you can see here you verify and compile. You can upload. Uh, this will upload it to the Arduino board itself. And then you can uh, upload using Programmer. And I think these are the two buttons that you would use to upload it to the um, to the uh, nano board uh, again I'm just learning my way through this but again that's my understanding uh, so just to give you an example uh, here's the one that I wrote for the um, aircraft lights for the one that we're talking about here and this this code is what gets uploaded to the board to provide that those flashing lights and stuff. So, but the one thing I wanted to show you was um, was this. So this is uh, Tinkercad. It's an Autodesk program. It's web based. It's uh, free to use. <clears throat> uh, most of us in model building, when we think of Tinkercad, we think of three D modeling to get files for three D printing. Uh, I know uh, Ernst over at Spunky Model Garage or Model Works, I think it is. Um, this is what he uses to do his 3D modeling for his uh, 3D printing. But you can see onto the side here, you can also do coding and you can also do circuits. So you could come on here, you could, would create a new circuit. And over here in this drop down, you can see here, it says Arduino. And then it'll give you a bunch of different starting points. Uh, one has a, this one has already set up with a blinking light. This one has a button. This one has a fading LED. But you pick on this one, the breadboard. And this is exactly the setup that I have physically on my desk. So you can do everything inside of here instead of doing it instead of buying all the stuff and doing it in the uh, physically on your desk. And then you go here just to, uh, you can go all components or you can just go basic components. And here you would pick like your LEDs and you would put your LEDs into the breadboard. Each LED, you can give it a name. You know, you can pick the color, put in another LED, you know, make that one yellow. So you build up your circuit here, then you can put your resistor in. The nice thing about this uh, with the resistors, 
So as you know, resistors have color codes. So here you would put in what the resistance of the resistor is. And you can pick, you know, pico ohms, nano -ohm ohms, ohms, milli ohms, kilo ohms, mega ohms, whatever. But, so you say kilo ohms, so one kilo ohm. If you wanted to say three kilo ohms, you will notice that the color coding will change. So when you go to actually build this circuit, you can actually use this to see what your resistor color code should be. So again, if I change that to ohms, see, it changed. Now it's a three ohm instead of a three kilo ohm, and this is the color code you would need on your resistor. And again, you can put anything in here, you know, switch, battery, whatever. Coin battery even, if you wanted to. You know, slide switch. So any number of things, you can build your entire circuit virtually within here. So uh, just let me exit out of this and I will uh, build the circuit that I actually have on my desk. And then I'll uh, show you how the simulation works. Okay guys, so you can see here I've built my um, circuit virtually here in Tinkercad, exactly like I have on my desk. Uh, over here is where I have the, um, is where I write the code. Over here, I'll show you something a little, um, here at the end, I'll show you something about this code writing. Um, how Tinkercad can make it a bit easier for you. So once you get your code, once you get your circuit in, you get your code built. Now you want to test it and see if it's going to work. So you just hit click simulation. And you can see here my code indeed does work. Uh, this is a steady red on, double strobing white, fade in, strobe on the red, and solid green. Exactly what I had on my desktop version of this. So now that you know this works, you can go ahead and build your circuit for real. And you can then download this file, this test sketch program. You can then download that to your computer for upload to the actual uh, nano board or however you're going to do it, uh, based on what I mentioned previously. So again, I know this probably looks and sounds complicated, uh, but as I said before, it's it, there is a learning curve, absolutely, but it is not as complex and complicated as it seems. So one thing I wanted to show you that Tinkercad does here to help you. When I pull down text, you can see it says text, which is what it's set to now. It has a thing called blocks and text or just blocks. So I'll show you what that is, what blocks means. So when I switch it to blocks, now I'm going to lose all of this. So basically all blocks is, is just a visual way of doing the programming. So in programming, let's say to keep it very simple, if you have a switch and a light, you push the switch, the light comes on. So the switch is going to be your input, light coming on is going to be your output. So basically you just use these things here to say what you, to tell the board what you want it to do. So in program speak, at least in this one, on off is is high low. So what this means here is set built in LED to high. That means when the board is powered on, the LED is going to be on. High means on. So this is just this is just a visual way of doing the programming. And if you put it as text, this is what it will look like typed out and this is what it looks like in this blocks so the blocks is just a visual a more visual way of doing it so if you uh, want to use this blocks to write this code for you when you hit download so this is what it's going to download because this is what the Arduino and the nano boards and stuff need in order to operate is this text so this just takes visually converts it to text download the text to the board again 
it's uh, sounds more complicated than it really is. So anyways, guys, this is a bit of a long-winded video, but I hope this probably uh, helps you guys out. Uh, if any of you are interested in this kind of stuff or interested in looking into this kind of stuff, uh, you don't, in reality, you don't have to spend any money. You just got to Tinkercad and just like it says, tinker around with it, play with it. And if you want to do it for real, you know, go on eBay to the... Uh, Chinese sellers, you buy all this electronic stuff, boards, everything, for next to nothing. So, uh, anyways, guys, I uh, hope Mike that helped yourself and Sammy. Hope hope it helped you out as well and anybody else who watched. So, uh, anyways, as always, thanks for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned for future videos.